Welcome to the Coastal Kitchen. Hi, I'm Karen Mashures, and today we're making football finger food. Now this is quick and easy stuff because you want to enjoy the game. And it's going to be on in a couple of hours, so let's make some game day grub. We're going to have uh, cocktail smoky sausages. We're having cranberry almond crunch cookies. We're going to have a bloomin' onion, fried banana peppers, and ham and cheese sliders. So let's make some grape tomatoes and cukes just to make it a little bit healthy, and we're ready to go. Game's coming on, so let's make some game day grub. We're gonna start with the little sausages. Now, these are Smokies. You can buy them right in the grocery store, already ready for you, and this is a quick and easy thing to start early in the day. Just pour those in to your crock pot, and we're going to add a half a cup of grape jelly. And this is sort of like a dump cake. You get to just dump it all in the pot. We're gonna put in a little bit of heat because I'm using hot pepper jelly. Half a cup. And now we've got barbecue sauce. Just use the one that you like best. And I've got a cup of that. So we're gonna get all that into the pot and we're gonna give it a nice little stir Get all those little smokies covered, and it's gonna go in the crock pot on low for about two and a half to three hours. So you don't have to worry about this anymore. You can start on the rest of our goodies today. Okay, let's get that in the crock pot and cover it up with the lid, and we're good to go and ready to start on our cranberry almond crunch cookies. All right, I've got everything set up for our cranberry almond crunch cookies. Now, these can be cookies or these can be bars. Um, depends on what you wanna do with them. And I'm making a little bit of both today. So simple, so easy, but a little gooey. And you gotta use your hands. I've got some cranberry almond crunch cereal. And you can find it in any grocery store that you go to. And what I'm doing is I'm gonna crunch up these flakes with my hands because I want them just a little bit smaller than they are because it's going to make a really cool looking cookie. This is something you can do with grandkids or your kids or make to take to your bridge game. This is a, a, a great little semi-healthy treat. Okay, now I didn't think there was quite enough cranberries so I'm putting in a cup of cranberries just craisins, cranberries, whichever you choose to use. And just mix those, mix those up real good. All right, we're mixing all the cranberries in there. Got it good, and now it's time to go over to my pot. I've got a two quart pot, and I'm gonna put my peanut butter right in. And I'm not turning on the heat until I get all my ingredients in the pot. Okay, peanut butter, and this is corn syrup, and we've got a cup of that. As I said, ooey gooey sticky. And three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. So just get that in on top. And I'm gonna take my wooden spoon Make sure I get all that good stuff off. Okay, we're gonna turn this on low. And I'm gonna get to about a medium heat because we want this to boil. And it's gonna take just a couple minutes for it to boil. I wanna stir it all together right now. Once it boils, we're just gonna stir for one minute. All right, this has come to a quick boil, and now I'm stirring, and it'll take about 30 more seconds, and this sauce will be ready. All right, let's turn this off. I'm gonna take it over here, and because this is a big mixture, I am going to transfer cereal into the big bowl 
And then I am pouring all of the syrup, peanut butter, sugar mixture on top. Okay, this is where the elbow grease comes in because we've got to make sure that every bit of that cereal is coated and it quickly sets. So keep that arm moving. Okay, take a look. This is what it is, nice and coated. We've got it together and it is getting stiff. All right, the last thing we're gonna do is add a little bit of vanilla. And if you want, you can put it in the sauce before you pour it over the cereal. But I like to get that vanilla flavor right on top. So two teaspoons. And then we're gonna stir some more. All right, this looks absolutely wonderful. Take a quick look. I'm gonna just set this aside, move this out of the way, and I'm gonna get my cookie sheet. Now, the one thing that I have that I love is an antique ice cream scoop. You can use an ice cream scoop, you can use a tablespoon, your choice but I like to make something with just a little tiny bit of flair. So I'm gonna press my mixture into my scoop, try to get all the edges back in. Nice hard press, and we're gonna make our cookie. Doesn't that look cute? Okay, I'm gonna keep making and We'll get these ready for the chocolate. All right, this is the last one of my cookies. Now I'm only making a dozen cookies because I've only got about six people coming. But I wanna show you that I've taken a little piece of the waxed paper and if you just touch the top of this to press in, it makes it look a little bit prettier. Okay, got that done. Now with the remainder of my mixture, I'm gonna make a bar. So I've got two pieces of wax paper, one here and one for my hands. And I am just gonna take this and pour it right in the center. You can see it's starting to harden up a little bit. And I am going to use my top piece of wax paper to keep my hands from getting so sticky, but I'm gonna just press it out. I want nice edges, so once I get it to the thickness that I want for my bar, I'm gonna start pressing my edges in. And all you have to do is shape it into a rectangle, and depending on your cookie size, you might get a little bit bigger rectangle than I do. Okay almost there and no messy hands so this is going to sit now it's time for my chocolate and i have these beautiful belgian chocolate discs they melt so wonderful in a microwave you don't have to worry about much else so we're going to pop these in it'll take about a minute we're gonna stir in between. Then we're gonna drizzle all over the top of our cranberry almond bars. All right, chocolate's just about ready to come out. I'm gonna get my cookies. Let's grab this chocolate and give it another stir. Make sure everything is melted. All right, things are looking good here. So now you can see I put all this on one side because it's so much easier to take my fork and start shaking, because we want to put chocolate on everything. All right, now I've gotten all of these done, but I'm just gonna turn my pan halfway, and I'm gonna go the other way just a little bit to give it a little bit more definition, a tiny bit more chocolate. Okay, I've done the bar too, just like I did my cookies, and what I'm gonna do now is just set them in the refrigerator for about 10 minutes for the chocolate to set, 
and they are ready except for cutting the bars. And when I cut the bars, I'm just using this handy little tool, gonna cut them in squares. That's all I'm gonna do. All right, let's get these in. We're gonna have a word from our sponsor and we'll be right back. Our mom plus Shalot Electric plus Maytag equals one legendary apple pie. It begins with the finest ingredients kept Maytag fresh. Then, Maytag's precise baking means the flakiest, tastiest crust ever. Finally, her ultra-quiet Maytag dishwasher makes cleanup ultra-easy. Mom, apple pie, and Maytag, dependably yours at Shalot Electric Stores. Do you have Wi-Fi dead zones in your home? If you have a fast internet package, your wireless router is most likely the bottleneck because it can't handle all the new devices in your home. We now have a solution to enhance your internet experience. ATMC Premium Wi-Fi improves performance and coverage issues in any size home. For only $7.95 a month, you'll get Wi-Fi service plus management and maintenance you can rely on. So transform your Wi-Fi dead zones into total home Wi-Fi coverage with ATMC Premium Wi-Fi. Welcome back to the Coastal Kitchen. Now, it's going to get hot in this kitchen right now, and it's going to get a little messy, so I have put on an apron to protect me. Um, we are making our blooming onion. Now, blooming onion can be a little tricky, so we're going to try to do it the right way. All right, I have a Vidalia onion, and you can use a white onion, but I like the taste of the Vidalia, so I'm going to use that. Now, with the skin on, I am going to cut this end of the onion off. And I want to cut it off to where I get the top of the onion off so it's easier to make that uh, side cut. So once I've got this off, I'm going to take some of this paper from the onion peel off and throw that away. And there will be another layer that will be taken off also. So. You can see it's coming off now beautifully. Get that very thin skin. Give it a twist, get it off. Now, to cut a blooming onion, you want to take the onion and go about three quarters of an inch away from the root. And you're going to make a cut straight down, straight down and in. And you can gauge the size of the pe uh, petals that you'd like to have. I like them a little bit better because I like to get uh, a nice piece of onion when I start pulling it apart. So I go about an inch, maybe a little bit more. Straight down. Okay, that was the last cut. Now, you should have everything cut in between and get ready to start pulling it away. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna try to make the petals separate. And if this becomes a difficult task, if you've got a really tight onion, you can put it in ice water for just a little bit and it'll make that bloom out a little bit more. All right, now I have just about finished. I did have to go in and make a couple little more cuts to the center of the onion. It's okay to do that, but you can see it looks like a flower now. Okay, we've got two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. And when you cut an onion, the one thing you will do is have your eyes water when you do one this big. So um, I'm sniffing and crying. Um, we're gonna put some paprika in. We are going to put some cayenne pepper in. I like that little bit of spice. You can do it the way you like it. And some garlic powder. Kosher salt. And black pepper. Just a little bit of black pepper. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is whisk this all together. I want that to be all incorporated so this onion tastes phenomenal. And you know, do it the way you like it. If you want a little something extra in there, you can put it in there. Okay, all ready. That was easy. Now, two eggs, and we're gonna put these eggs right in this bowl. No shells. 
And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rinse my hands off real quick and break the eggs up before I put my milk in, okay? Just break that up just a little bit, give it a nice stir, and I'm gonna put my milk in and just keep stirring until I get it all mixed together. All right, all mixed up, let's get rid of that. And what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna take my onion, move it a little bit over here. I want to get flour all over this onion. So I am gonna make just a little bit of well with my hands, put it in, and then I'm gonna take my hands and just spread the flour over the top. And I want some to get in between the petals. So I'm just gonna move the petals around a little bit and make sure that we've got good coverage on this. Okay, and on the back, put a little bit. Now, it's gonna go in my milk mixture, my milk egg mixture, and I'm gonna put it down, face down, and I'm just gonna let it sit for a few minutes. It needs to um, soak for probably three minutes on that side, and then I'm gonna turn it over let it soak for three minutes on the other side. All right, we've let this sit in the milk egg mixture. Now it's time to take it out and put it back in the flour mixture. So we're going to take it, just turn it upside down and plop it right in and we are gonna cover it completely. Just wanna take all the flour Turn it around over the top. You can see there's a lot of steps to this blooming onion, but that's okay. We're getting it so it's beautifully uh, done and tasty, tasty, tasty. And I like to put flour in between all the little petals. All right, now just shake it off good and we are gonna put it on this plate right here. And I am gonna put it in the freezer for about 15 minutes. You can leave it up to 30, but put it in. It makes it fry up so beautifully. It really makes a difference. Okay, so we're gonna put this in the freezer. I'm gonna clean this up and then we're gonna go in to make our wonderful fried banana peppers. If you've never had them, you'll love them. We've got a whole new way to watch TV. Introducing Merge TV from ATMC. It's your ATMC cable TV package delivered over the internet to your favorite streaming device without cable box fees. Plus, you get great features like cloud DVR storage, jump back to the beginning of a show with Start Over, and look back up to 72 hours. You can even personalize TV viewing choices for the whole family, all from the local company you know and trust, ATMC. It's the new way to watch. Merge TV from ATMC. The new ATMC Search app is an absolutely fantastic way to find everything you need locally in a snap. It's like having the entire ATMC telephone book available on your smartphone or tablet. You can even search yellow page listings and have it map out the best way to get there. We know you'll appreciate that. Download it today in iTunes or Google Play. The free ATMC Search app, the happier way to search. All right, the onion is out of the freezer and I have got my oil going. We're right at about 350 and I'm gonna turn it down just a touch. Don't want it to change too much, but I'm gonna take my spider, put the onion in my spider and lower it into the oil. And it's gonna go for about four minutes and then I'm gonna turn it over and it'll go for another three. So let's watch. All right, it is time for this to come out. I'm gonna take it out. Oh, look at how beautiful that looks. Okay, I've got it on my paper towel so it drains a little bit, 
but I'm gonna put it in a 200 degree oven because I'm not quite ready to serve it yet. So let's put this over here and we are ready to start with our banana peppers. Okay, I'm gonna turn my oil on my banana peppers and get it warming up. This is such a simple recipe. Just flour, all-purpose flour, yellow cornmeal, and pepper. So we've got that, and I am gonna zip this up real fast and shake it around so it's ready. Okay, now on this recipe, I have got buttermilk. Now I'm gonna put buttermilk in my bowl and my banana peppers I have drained because I want them pretty fairly dry because I want them to get the full gist of the buttermilk. So we're gonna pop these in the buttermilk, handful at a time, and I'm just gonna take them out let them drain just a second, drop them into my bag, make sure they're completely coated, and I'm gonna start with the next bunch. All right, last little bunch in. Let me rinse my hand off. We're gonna shake those up real well, and they're gonna get ready to go into the oil. If you have never had these, you'll definitely wanna try them. They are such a nice, tasty little bite. That little bit of pickling makes them uh, something you wanna have day after day after day. All right, got that sh all shaken up. Let's put this over here. And I want to bring this plate over because I'm gonna take each of my peppers in handfuls and just shake them off a little bit, get some of the excess and separate so they're ready to go in the oil as soon as it's heated up. Okay, all these are just about ready to go in. Looks like my temperature is good on my oil, doing about 375. So I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take my slotted spoon and I'm just gonna drop some in then drop that. And this doesn't take very long at all. As soon as they turn golden brown, we're good to go. And I'm gonna put them on another tray with a uh, paper towel so the grease comes off. Okay, these are just about done. Let's take them out. Oh, they look so good. All right, let's make sure that temperature is still good. It's gotta come up just a little bit for the second batch. We'll have everything ready for our ham and cheese sliders and our great tomatoes with the cukes. Our mom plus Shalot Electric plus Maytag equals one legendary apple pie. It begins with the finest ingredients kept Maytag fresh. Then, Maytag's precise baking means the flakiest, tastiest crust ever. Finally, her ultra-quiet Maytag dishwasher makes cleanup ultra-easy. Mom, apple pie, and Maytag. Dependably yours at Shalot Electric Stores. Today's households are using more connected devices than ever before. TVs are streaming, smartphones are browsing, security cameras are watching, and virtual assistants are, well, assisting. You'll need an umbrella today. As you add more devices, we are constantly improving our technology to deliver the fastest and most reliable internet to your home. So make sure you have enough bandwidth. Get speeds up to one gig with high-speed internet from ATMC. It's the speed you need to connect all your devices. Call today. All right, welcome back. We're gonna make our ham and cheese sliders right now. And I've already cut one of, uh, you can see they come in 12s. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna start my cut and I'm gonna cut them lengthways all the way across. And I'm gonna try real hard to keep them 
pretty much intact. Okay, the bottom goes in the bottom of my casserole dish, just like that. And you can use Hawaiian, you can use, these are potato rolls, you can use any kind of dinner roll that you want, but I like them when they are uh, small enough to fit in the pan together. And I've got 24. So no preparation in regards to the bread. Just take your ham and I take a couple of pieces and I lay it across one right on top of the other. All right, we're working on the very last piece of ham. Now for 24 of these little sliders, I've used a pound of ham and I had it cut real thin. I want it to have that deli look. Now it's time for the pepper jack cheese and I'm just gonna take a slice of pepper jack and go all the way across. And with these, it takes three. So I've got six slices of cheese. And we're almost ready to go. But like everything else, you can't have too much cheese, right? So let's get them in strategic places. So there's just a little bit more on each bun. Okay, tops go on. And let's grab this and slide it right here. This top's gonna go on the same way. And I have some melted butter, about half a stick. I've got some garlic salt and I have some Italian seasoning. And we're just gonna put that in together and I'm gonna give it a little bit of a swirl around with my brush. And this goes on the top. We are just gonna brush it around and make it soak in. We're gonna get a piece of tin foil and put over the top and let it bake at 350 for about 15 minutes and it will be scrumptious. All right, that last little bit and now let's put our tin foil on. I always cut mine and put it between drawers so I don't have to do that after the fact. So we're just gonna cover this up. This is ready to go in a 350 oven for 15 minutes. And when we get it out, everything will be set up and we will go watch a ball game. ATMC Security is changing the way you connect with your home, making it safer, smarter, and more efficient. Now you can manage your home wherever you are with a single app. Lights, locks, thermostats, 24-hour security monitoring, and more, which means you always come back to a safe, comfortable home. Monitoring services start as low as $17.95 per month. Make your home a smart home with ATMC Security. This is ATMC TV, your community channel. Well, let me tell you, I have fun making our game day grub. I am ready to start eating because the game's getting ready to start. So let's take a quick look. I've got a blooming onion. The way I like it is with ketchup, but I've got some ranch for my guests. I've got some barbecued Smokies. Just a toothpick will do. Ham and pepper jack sliders. They are terrific. And I'm getting ready to take a bite in just a second. We've got banana peppers that are fried and I made some little healthier things. Uh, grape tomatoes and cukes. So grapes and cukes on the stick. And I made some homemade Thousand Island dressing. Remember, all you have to do is go to Facebook, search for the Coastal Kitchen, and you can get all the recipes that we've made today. Don't forget the uh, Cranberry Almond Crunch cookies. They are terrific. Time for a Coke. Go watch the game. So I'm going to do that right now. You guys have a great week. Enjoy football. And thanks for all your comments at the grocery stores and when you see me on the street. It really makes this special. Good one.